Hello, students. Hello and welcome to tonight's session. How are you doing today? Are we ready? How was your day, Catherine? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? Um, I'm fine. You had a, did you have a good day? A good um, day? Very good. Um, un poco estructural. A little. Chunkies. <laughs> a little stressful. Okay. I understand. Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah. Relax in, in my house. <laughs> now, now I am relaxed in my house. Okay. A little stress. Okay. Nice. Nice, Miss. Um, well, you know, it's Thursday, but you know, tomorrow it's Friday. So that's that's the good news. Yes. That's the good news. <laughs> Friday yes. is the best day, isn't it? What's your favorite day? Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Um Sunday. Sundays? Hmm. Sunday. Interesting. Okay, Miss Ana Lopez is a little sick. Uh, she cannot participate tonight. Uh, so let's welcome to Jenny Escobar. Let me say welcome to you, lady over there. How are you doing? <gasps> you are commuting. I'm sorry. You are commuting. Yes, you are on the um, transportation now. Okay, no worries, no worries, okay? Be careful with your cell phone because of the pickpockets. Oh my gosh, I hate pickpockets in the buses. Be careful. Um, okay, once you get you. home, yes, yes. Once you get home, you can tell us that you're ready to participate in case, in case you, you, you get before 9 p.m., I hope, okay? Okie dokie, so let me say welcome to Soveda Acevedo. How are you doing tonight? Hello, teacher. Hi, it's a pleasure. How are you doing? Thank you. Uh, I am fine, a little uh, tired, but I am fine. Tired, but, but you're very young, uh, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think I a little young. You you think you think you're you're still a little young. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, what matters what matters is 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 how you feel, right? So if you could feel of someone of twenty years old, then better for you, right? Um, how do you say veinte siempre? <laughs> That's a good question for me. <laughs> okay. 20, 20s, 20s forever and ever, something like that. Okay. Algo así. <laughs> okay, so welcome to the class. You, so you're ready for the class tonight, Soveda? Yes, teacher. I am ready. Okay. I'm happy to hear that. I'm very happy mm -hmm. to hear that. Thank you. Um, well, let's say welcome to who? Cynthia, Cynthia Alvarado, how are you doing tonight? Are you there? Are you there, Cynthia? What's going on with the men from this class, huh, ladies? What's happening with the men from this class? Only Rodrigo and Isaac, I see the person constant or the men constant. Uh, are they scared of women of, of the class or, or what's happening? Or I don't know. Did you do something to my to my students? Did you do something to my boys? Huh, ladies? Catherine, Soveda, Cynthia, Jenny, 
you did you did something to my boys that my boys i don't know i just see one boy maybe in the class or sometimes remember the women's day only women i had only women in my class <laughs> that was uh -huh, any women to the power women's oh, power huh women's <laughs> <laughs> Women, yeah, <laughs> women's power. Wow, women are definitely breaking the borders, right? Breaking the borders. Okay, well, I don't see no more students coming in, so let's get started. Um, what have been talking about? We have been talking about descriptions, right? We have been talking about descriptions. We also have been talking about, um, well, yesterday we started talking about present perfect. Hmm. Present perfect. Okay. So today I'm going to share my screen with you. We're going to move on with present perfect. Um, it could be a little difficult if you don't handle past participle verbs. My best suggestion, guys, um, ladies, because I don't see I don't see boys around. Uh, ladies, my best suggestion is this: you, as an intermediate student. You need to handle each verb in the five tenses. Each verb in the five tenses. Base verb, third person, ing form, simple past, and past body simple. This way, this way is a complete complete learning process. I challenge you to memorize the verbs like that. Do you, me do you know some verbs like that? Do you think you know some verbs like that? Soveida, Cynthia, Jenny, Catherine, do you? Honestly, teacher, I know the verbs, but I don't use in different times. Now you will start using them in different times. So there comes the necessity for you to increase your knowledge, to expand your, your information, right? Mm -hmm. And specifically about verbs. Okay. Let's give it a try. The most simple verb, the verb to be. Yes, the bird to be. Okay. What is the simple present of the bird to be? What is the base of the bird to be? Is and are. Thank you. Am, um, is, are. That's the base. Yes. Okay. And um, what is the third person? What is the third person of the bird to be? She and he. Wait, the third person is is. 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 Okay. B is the base. Yes. Is is the third person. What is the ing form? Uh huh. Ladies, ladies, ladies. ing. The bird to be with ing. How do you say how do you say in English siendo or estando? Hmm? Be kind. What? Be kind, maybe. Bean. Bean. Be e i n g. Yes. Bean. Yes. Okay. B E I N G. Yep. 
Okay. Yep. Okay. Like when you say, like when you say, oh, estoy siendo robado. I am being robbed. Yes, I am being robbed. It's it's a continuous action happening continuously every day, right? <laughs> being. What is the simple past? Was and where. Was and where. Thank you. Thank you. Was and where. What is the past participle? Bean, B E E N. Correct. Bean. So that's the five ways, the five different forms of the verb to be that you know. That's how you need to, that's how you need to break down all the verbs that you know. You are intermediate student. So, so it's not enough. It's not sufficient that you know one verb in simple present and maybe in simple past. No, you need to know it in the five tenses, okay? Based, third person, ING, simple past, and past participle. Do it, guys, do it. Believe me, believe me. Once you do that, you will laugh. You will laugh. You will be able to express yourself different ways. No stuttering. No stuttering like, I, oh, oh, yeah. right? No stuttering. You will be able to, you know, explain whatever you're thinking at the same time, real time. So you can do it. You can do it. Ladies, power. Let's go, ladies. Huh? Who said fear? <laughs> So, we were talking about uh, participles and uh, prepositions, right? Can somebody tell me who is Jenny using a preposition? Can, can somebody tell me who is Jenny using the preposition? Um... Right now. She's the woman. Repeat. She's the woman. She's the woman. What? Uh, with? You can say with. We, with. Um, she's the uh, boss. In the bath. Uh -huh. Wearing glasses. Correct. Okay, that's one way. Uh, she's the woman wearing glasses. She's the woman with a mask, with the face mask right uh, she's the woman seating right in the bus okay that's nice so participles and prepositions that is something we also have been uh, practicing anyways today we're going to share with you uh, present perfect as, as we were mentioning let me share now my screen with you one second Hopefully my 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 uh, computer works well tonight because yesterday it was a little acting out. Okay, here it goes. Um, are you able to visualize my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. So here, in present perfect. I was telling you that yet, for example, yet, you can use it in negative, negative statements and also in questions, okay? Okay, now we can, uh, we're going to learn already. Repeat already. 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 Okay. Um, also, the regular and irregular past participles. Let's check. Here it goes. Hi, in this lesson, we will study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. 
I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb. Okay, I want to go over the contractions, okay? Let's go over the contractions. I have, what's the contraction? I've. I've. Repeat, I have. I have. I've. I've. Now, remember that it's not obligation for you to use a contraction, but it's more common though, okay? Uh, repeat, well, you have, you have, what's the contraction? You have. You've. Repeat, you've. 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 And guys, remember that these are contractions for what tense? Present perfect. Okay? This is exclusively for present perfect. Okay? You've. Repeat, you have. You have. You have. You have. Repeat, you have. You have. Repeat, you've. You've. Repeat, you've. You've. You. Okay. Mm, you don't say you, right? You don't say you, guys. The pronunciation is with the vowel sounds. You. You. Okay? You've. You. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's not you. You. Es como que suena como que alguien lo dice con la letra Y. So that's not correct. Okay? Because it's a... You've. You've. What happens is that the sound is this. You. You. Like you. You don't say you. No, that's not right. You say you. Understand? You. you. So with the you. contraction, you've. You. you. Mm -hmm. you. Be careful. You've. You. You've. Repeat, I've. I've. You've. 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 He has. His. Has. His. his. She has. She has. She is. She, she is. You already know that. It has. It has. has. It's. It, it's. In present perfect. Remember, this is present perfect. We have. We've. 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 We have. We have. We've. We've. They have. We've. They have. They. They have. They have. They've. They have not. They have not. Haven't. Have, have, 
have has any not has not has. hasn't 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 remember hasn't hasn't has and hasn't has and hasn't is only for he she it okay have and haven't is for i you we and they do you understand yes yes it all right awesome awesome so have you been to have you been to okay present perfect have past participle verb been have you been to a jazz club repeat have you been to a jazz club have you been to a jazz club sound natural the three expressions have you been have you been to have you been have you to been? yes have you been to have you been to a jazz club yet have you, have been, you been to a jazz club 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 have you been have you been to a jazz club? Have you been to a jazz club? A jazz club. Okay, that's that's for you, right? Talking to, uh, uh, you know, your partner, right? Third person has has she or has he or has Raúl has Maria has Jose ridden in a streetcar? Okay, ridden. Has she ridden? In a streetcar. In a streetcar. Mm -hmm. Has he called home lately? Has he called home lately? Mm -hmm. Have they eaten? Have they eaten dinner yet? Have they eaten dinner yet? Okay, okay. Remember, present perfect is an action that started in the past and continues in the present. Okay. Um, remember, possible answers. Yes, I have been to several. I have been to one. I have been to one or two. I have been to five, right? Or no, no, I haven't. I haven't been. You use haven't is the negative, and you use the same verb from the question. Been is the, is the verb in the question. Been is the verb in the answer. No, I haven't been to one. Okay. Eaten. Okay. Been. Let's practice this part. Um, already. When do you use already? Affirmative. I have already. I have already been. Repeat. I have already been to one. I have already been to have. I have already gone there. Repeat. I have already. I have already. I have already gone. I have already eaten. I have already drank. I have already written. I have already finished. Yes, I have already. Yo ya he hecho eh, whatever action. All right. Teacher. Yes. Uh, in the verb, and sería in the past. Participle. Past. past. Participle. Uh -huh. Past participle. Ah, okay. Past participle. Some people call it the PP, the PP verb. <laughs> I don't like ah. to call it the PP verb, but I better say uh, past participle. Past participle okay. verb. So let's practice. We're going to practice being. Have you been to? For instance, have you been to um where have you been to a, a hotel like a like a hotel you know like for vacation have you been to have you been to a hotel any volunteer 
No, I've, I've been in shelter. So it's negative, right? Your answer is negative? Yes. So the negative is the contraction of have and the negation word not. Have not. Haven't. Make it haven't. one. Haven't. No, I haven't been. Okay. No, I haven't been to in, one. To one. To one. To one. Mm -hmm. to one. No, I haven't been to one. Okay. Okay. Have you been to a lake in El Salvador? Have you been to one of our lakes in El Salvador? Uh -huh. Any volunteer? Nobody? The meaning of late? Lake. L lake. L A K E. Lake, like Guatepeque Lake, Apulo um, Lake. Have you been to mm. any? Have you been to any of our lakes in El Salvador? What's the matter yes. with you, Jenny? I, I've in the lake Cuatepeque, in the Cuatepeque Lake. Yes, lake. I've, I've. Yes, I've. And the action verb? Been. Correct. Because it's I've been, been completes the present perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I've been in the Cuatepeque Lake. Correct. Lake. Yes, I've been to um, Coatepeque Lake. I've been to Coatepeque Lake. I remember I was what, 20, 25 years old? Yes, I remember, right? It's present perfect. Good job. Okay. Okay. Question Have you have you driven, drive, drove, driven? Have you driven a car? Yes, I. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yes, I drive. I drive my car. Somewhat correct. Somewhat correct. What is this tense? This is present perfect. Have you? Have you distinguish that this is present perfect? Have you driven? Have you driven a car in your life? Not today. Not yesterday, in your life, because you continue, you continue living, <laughs> you continue living. So that's why it's present perfect, because it's an action that started in the past and continues happening in the present. Okay. Have you driven a car? Hello, have you driven a car? Yes. Um, yes, I've drunk. Driven. Driven. Yes. Yes, I've driven a car. I have a license. I have a driver's license. <laughs> yes, I've have. Yes, I have driven. What do you prefer? Yes, I have driven. Or yes, I've driven. De las dos formas se puede. Correct. Yes, because one is contraction. The other one is the normal form. Ah, okay. I have driven. Contracted. I've driven. So it's ah. kind of different, huh? I've yeah. driven a car, yes. I've driven my father's car and I've driven my car too. See? How about you? Soveda? 
I preferred the contractions options. Answer I, me. I drive it, my car every day. Maybe? No, 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 no. That's a no, no. Okay. That's a no, no. So, Veda. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Listen to me. Every day, it's not an expression for distance. Okay. I want you to. I want you to make a difference. This is not simple present, guys. This is not simple present. This is not simple past. This is not future. This is present perfect. Like when in Spanish you say. Uh, as tu estado en, en otro país, as tu visitado, you see, ado, edo, those are the past participle verbs in English. So, for example, check this question. Have you, have you eaten, eaten? or eaten, have you eaten have you eaten seafood? Do you know what is seafood? Yes, I know. Yes. Uh-huh. Tell me, tell me. Tell me. What the meaning of seafood? Seafood. Guys, what's the meaning of seafood? Comida del mar. Comida del mar. Ajá. Es como... Como mariscos. Mariscos. Mariscos es una palabra. That. That. <laughs> Spanish. Wow. Uh -huh. mariscos like octopus, shells, uh, I don't know, crabs, lobsters, yes? Fish, uh -huh. of course, of course. <laughs> have you, have you eaten, have you eaten seafood? Answer me, answer me. Yes, I have eaten seafood. Okay, and there you can even be more specific, right? Yes, I have eaten shrimps, for example. You know what is shrimps? Yes. Uh huh. Or or yes, I have eaten shells. I love shells. Yes. The meaning of shells? Conchas? The meaning of shells? Conchas. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't like. <laughs> you know, oh, come on, Miss. Aren't you Salvadorian? Oh, come no, it's okay. on. Sorry. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I know. <laughs> because they are moving and, and they are alive and you're going to eat it and Eh, langosta lobster? lobster lobster do you like lobster have you have you eaten lobster yes i've eaten eaten yes i've eaten eaten yes i've eaten i've yes i've i've eaten lobster Lobster, it's delicious, huh? Yes, it's the bomb. <laughs> I recommend your lobster. I'm just giving commercials <laughs> for you to do tourism. <laughs> okay, can you can you make a question? It's your turn. Can you help me and make a question? Have you? <laughs> if you're sleeping. Somebody is sleeping there. Somebody's jawing like, come on, guys, make a question. Have you? Have you play, play it? played? Played? Uh -huh. The guitar? Correct. Have you played, like played the guitar? The guitar. 
repeat guitar guitar guitar, guitar. Okay, have you played the guitar? Yes, I have played the guitar. I have, yes, I have played the guitar. What about you? What about you, Soveida? Have you played the guitar? No, I haven't played the guitar. You the haven't guitar. played the guitar yet. 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 Y ahí cabe decir yet, porque significa como aún no, ¿verdad? Aún. Because okay. maybe, right? Maybe in the future, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Right? What about you? What about you, uh, Catherine? What about you? What? What? Is the conversation? Aren't you in the conversation? Ah. <laughs> what about what about you? What about you? Have you played the guitar? No, I've played the guitar. No, I uh, haven't. No, I haven't. No, no, I haven't played the guitar. No, I haven't played the guitar. Very good. No, Very I good. like. <laughs> Have you okay? Because I have no men, I have no boys around here. So I'm gonna make women question right now. <laughs> Ladies, what is the simple past? What is the past participle of make? M-A-K-E, make. The simple past, made. made is the simple past and the past participle is made. So my question is, have you made Tortillas. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. Really? Okay, answer me. Uh, so, so Veda, answer me. Have you made? Have you made tortillas? Yes, of course. I made tortillas. Only. Only that. Very well. Very well. Yes, of course. I've, and I, I suppose you are using the contraction, I've made tortillas. Yes. Many times, maybe, huh? Many times, muchas veces, many times. Yes, I have made. Oh, have you made, have you made pupusas? Yes. Yes, I made. I have made pupusas. For three years. For three years? So maybe maybe for, for our graduation of this program, you can no no no. Um <laughs> en mi familia cada fin de semana. Okay, every weekend. <laughs> every weekend <laughs> with my family, right? Okay. Interesting, interesting. Um I want two pupusas, okay? After the class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. Okay. Can you make a question? Can you make a question? A different question now, guys. Girls, ladies, a different question, please. Huh? Um ¿Cómo se empieza la pregunta, teacher? The auxiliary here is have. Have. Have and you played soccer? Have you played the soccer? And if it's in third person, has. For example. Uh, has you? Has you played no, no, no. soccer? Has. No. Third person. Has he? Has she? Has it? For example, class. Has Soveida made pupusas? Has Soveida made pupusas? Yes, she has. Yes? She has. Correct. Yes, she has made pupusas. Yes, she has made pupusas. She actually, yeah, yeah, un cambio. She actually makes pupusas every weekend porque every weekend ya es present simple right ya es una rutina so yes she has she has made pupusas many times for three years for three years right yes. okay 
Okay, very good. Interesting, interesting. Hi, you got you got home? No, no I'm not I, 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 <laughs> No, I I I I wait. Oh my Sorry. goodness. What are you doing? <laughs> I, I go in the motorcycle teacher. You, I, you, you are the writer? You are the writer? No, my husband. Your no, husband, husband is the writer. You're the co-pilot. Yeah. You're exactly. the co-pilot. Oh my yeah. gosh. Can you be careful, please? <laughs> be careful. I really yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, take it easy. Okay. Watch the watch the video. Watch the video. This class is very yeah. important, Jenny. Yeah. Okay. okay. I missed bye you. Bye. you I missed day. you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you bye. so much. Bye bye. See Take you it Monday. easy. Take it easy. Thank Be you. safe. Thank you. Okay. Be safe. Um, actually, actually, guys, I need to confirm if tomorrow we have class. I need to confirm with, with my boss because remember that I had a problem on Monday, last Monday. We yes. didn't have class, so I am not sure. And you need to check your your WhatsApp tomorrow, please. Okay? Okay. Okay. Very well. So guys, this, this is a very difficult, this is a very complicated topic. It's a very complicated topic if, if you don't study the verbs. Guys, this is like this is like when you were in, you remember when you were in seventh grade, when you were in eighth grade, when you were in sixth grade, that you needed to that you needed to study the numbers, right? The numbers. Uh, what? Two, three, four, five, all those tables, all those charts, you had to memorize them. And and now it's kind of similar. It's kind of similar because because if you don't handle verbs, you cannot dominate this topic. This topic is with past participle verbs. So it's very important. Um, what's your suggestion? What's your suggestion for this for this um, issue, Soveida? What's your suggestion to 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 obtain more more knowledge on this on this part the meaning of suggestion suggestion i'm sorry miss suggestion suggestion do you understand um, no. suggestion sugerencias uh, uh -huh. i remembered in in the other academy, I I give me the list on the verb on the verb in the different times. Uh -huh. I think I shared the list and I I share. With can you my can you share? Yes, can you share the list on the WhatsApp chat? I. Uh, I promise I shared the list, but I don't know. I don't know. No sé dónde está. You you don't know what it is. You you have to you have to find it. Yes. You have to find it. Okay. Okay. Yes. You have you have all these days to find it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, share that list with with all those verbs. No problem. Otherwise, you can Google, guys. You can Google things. Remember, you have access to internet, so you can Google things, right? Google a list of verbs, and you start working working those those uh list of verbs okay okay very okay, well very well have you have you what is this what is the past participle of by b-u-y teacher i have questions you have a question you say i have yes. a question i have a question yes um se la voy a decir en español porque no entendí yo busqué un listado en google Y justo está el presente, la forma presente, eh, la forma pasada y el pasado participio. Ok. Esos son los verbos que tenemos que usar, los del pasado participio. You are correct. Ok. Esos verbos nunca los habían usado ustedes. No. <risa> Entonces... Ay. 
Es hora de usarlos. Es time to use them. Time to use Voy a pasar them. el que yo encontré en Google, vean. No sé si ese es, pero eso es lo que yo encontré ahorita. Que busqué. Pero no acaso, Beta, ¿ok? En el ah, no. WhatsApp chat, ¿ok? Please. Okay. No. We're dead. <laughs> ok. Ok, let's move on. Let's move on. Ok. Um, do you have your homework? Remember that I, I told you to prepare a question? I told you to prepare a question using, using have. Have you? Did you do that question? Did you complete that question? Did you make it? No? Yes? No? Maybe? Um, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Maybe you can do it for next class so we can have a conversation. Yeah? So we can have a conversation using uh, present perfect. Remember, you have to use have you and then you need to select the past participle verb. Have you seen the latest Spider Spider-Man's movie? Have you seen the latest Spider-Man's movie? Have you have you bought anything special? Have you anything? Anything? There are many questions that you can make. Teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo se escribe have you? Have you? Uh -huh, yes. The auxiliary have you. The question, right? Have you? Check the uh -huh, chat. Yes, yes. Check the yes. chat. No, teacher, no nos escribe a nosotros. What? Sí. Entonces, ah, ya no les, les sale, no les sale. No, teacher. Ah, oh, that's weird. Lo debe tener para alguien específico. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> ok, yes, es que Ana estaba escribiendo, creo que ahí se ha. Ok, have, is the verb have. The verb have. And, and the subject you. You. Have you. Have you. Have you. Have you. Yes. Have you, have you taken a shower today, Catherine? Yes. <laughs> yes, what? Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, I have. Took. Took or take. I taken. Take a shower. <laughs> taken. Taken. And, and you don't. You don't need to look for the verb because the verb is in my question. The verb is in my question. You need to listen to the question carefully. Have you taken a shower? So I told you the verb. That verb is what you need to use in the answer. You follow me? Okay. For example, Soveida, have you have you eaten Chinese food? Yes, I've eaten. Chinese food. Okay. Sushita. Okay, that's nice. Is it good? Yes, very good. Very good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, have you? That's the question. Ahí lo escribí en el chat. No sé si lo ve Catherine. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Have you plus verb in past participle? You rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. okay, we will listen. We will be listened to in order to practice the present perfect conversation. Okay, here we go. Actually, I have. Everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. 
Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Do you understand this conversation? Do you have any question on the vocabulary or anything? Yes, no, maybe. Eh, Moroccan es como Marruecos, algo así. Correct. Moroccan, Moroccan food. Moroccan. Comida marroquí. Ah, thank you. That's a very special one. <laughs> what about what about Thai? Thai food. What's Thai food? Comida. Thailandesa. Ah, okay. Okay, Thai food. What else? What else? That's it, right? Let's repeat, guys. Let's yes. repeat, ladies. Teen yes. Teenager. Teenager. Teenager means adolescente. Teenager. Oh. Mm -hmm. Something else? Um, teacher, yes. I, a mí no me queda claro. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa jet al final de la pregunta o en las negativas? Me ayuda otra vez. Claro que sí, mis. Ok, jet in the question is like, is like aún. Right? For example, have you finished your homework yet? Right? Es como que terminaste tu, tu tarea. Aún no la terminaste. Something like that. Right? Aún. Yet. In the question. Okay. Have you have you visited visit visited? Have you visited Guatemala yet? Do you understand? Yes, I visited. Aún no ha sido a, a Guatemala. Do you understand? Have you visited Guatemala yet? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahí. Okay. And let me see. Y en la negativa, verdad, mis? Mm -hmm. For example, eh, I haven't, I haven't um, been to what? Ah, también. I haven't, played. Okay. I haven't played, okay, I haven't played the guitar. I haven't played the guitar yet. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? El contexto que quiere decir es que I have not done it yet, but doesn't mean that doesn't mean that you cannot do it in the future doesn't mean that you cannot try tomorrow right because it's, it's an action that has not finished it's an action que no ha terminado it's present perfect okay thank you y already miss cuando usamos already already usted dijo que era in the affirmations in the affirmations I have already I have already made pupusas for three years <laughs> see see how it sounds the context I have already like I am tired I have experience that's the context that's the context Okay. okay, let's listen and repeat. Let's listen and repeat. Repeat. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? Have you been here long? No. Have you been here long? Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. No, only for a few minutes. Repeat, a few minutes. A few minutes. A few, it's a, it's a quantifier. Remember the quantifiers? 
Yes. A few. Yes. A few means four or five minutes in numbers. Okay. Um, repeat. Only for a few minutes. Only for a few, Only minutes. For a few minutes. Repeat. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Moroccan. Moroccan. Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? No, I no, haven't. haven't. Yeah, it's good. Is it? Is it good? Is it, is it good? Repeat, is it good? Is it good? It is good? It's delicious. It's delicious. I've I've had it several times. I have I've had it several times. Had it. Had it. I've had it. Had it. Had it. I've had it several times. What is several? Several. Focus. It's the opposite. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Several. Repeat several times. Several times. Many, many, many. So many times. Okay. Repeat. Or how about how about Thai food? Or about Thai food. Or how about Thai food? Or how about the Thai food? Thai food. How about? Repeat. How I'm sorry, about? Sorry, I'm late. How about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Have you ever, have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. Actually, <laughs> I have. I lived, I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I lived, I lived in, Thailand in Thailand. I ate it a lot there. I ate, I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. I didn't know, I didn't know that. How long did you live there? How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. I lived there. I lived there for two years. For two, two years. Years. Two years. I lived there. So, guys, in this conversation, we have a combination of present perfect and we have a combination of simple past. Yes? Simple past is for actions that finished. And present perfect is for unfinished actions. Okay? Very well. So, teacher Kalev is going to be Peter. And you ladies are going to be Mandy. You ready? Ready. Here we go. Pronounce, pronounce, pronounce. Natural, clear and loud, clear and loud. It's the last two minutes, ladies. Let's do it. Okay. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No. Only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. I can decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. delicious. I, I have eaten several times. Eaten times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever eaten green curry? Actually. Actually. I have. I lived in Thailand. I have. I live in Thailand. I, I ate a lot there. I love there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there, I lived there for two years. Ladies, please remember tomorrow you need to make a question. I want you to bring a question. I want you to bring a question. You can include yet at the end to practice. Bring a question so we can make a little conversation for, you know, practicing purposes. Okay? Okay. okay. And, and stay tuned. Stay tuned on the WhatsApp because we need to confirm if we have class tomorrow or not. Okay? 
Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Stay safe. See you tomorrow, maybe, or Monday. Take it easy. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.